Hey everybody, so I'm catching up on some of my Atlas Coffee subscription reviews. I'm a little bit behind. I forgot doing them. I wound up drinking a lot of it before I remembered, hey, I forgot to do one this month. Um, so instead of trying to guess where you know we're going this month, I'm going to just show you. And uh, this colorful package is representative of Papua New Guinea. Never been to New Guinea. Um, don't know too much about New Guinea other than, you know, things that we heard... Uh, in school that were rumors back, you know, when you're a little kid that they, you know, had cannibalism or something like that. But whether that's true or not has nothing to do with the quality of today's coffee. Um, so I have a cup right here. Nice piping hot. Mm. I would say very well balanced and it does taste exactly like it is. It's a medium roast coffee. So let's look at the highlights, which is whenever you order from Atlas Coffee Club, you will get, let's see if I have one around here, might have, you know, uh, I have, oh, it's right behind all the cards here. So you get a box that looks like this, you open it up, you get a, you get the information, you get the little postcard with the little write-up on the back of it, and you'll get the bag of coffee right inside, and you know, Sometimes I like to just guess based on looking at it. If I see a lot of mountains and it's blue, I'm like, oh, is it Jamaican blue mountain, you know, coffee? And sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So for Papua New Guinea, we have Papua New Guinea, Eastern Highlands, tasting notes of red apple, chocolate, and walnut. Try as a cold brew, which I did not try, but I have enough left. And if you want to try it as a cold brew, a quick way to do it would be to grind about, I think it's about six cups. You don't want to do it too fine, not too coarse, somewhere in the middle. Um, and you could put it actually in a French press, add cold water, let it sit in the fridge 24 hours, and boom, you have yourself cold brew ready to go. Medium roast level. PNG's coffee history, Papua New Guinea. Um, from the very beginning, coffee in Papua New Guinea has been incredibly unique. Rather than growing the robusta varieties commonly found in the surrounding islands, the British brought Jamaican Blue Mountain seeds to Papua New Guinea. And it's funny, I was just talking about those. Um, in the late 1800s, by 1920s, commercial production began to take off but remained at a small scale due to remote growing areas and poor infrastructure. Even today, about 85% of the coffee grown, grown in Papua New Guinea is grown in so-called coffee gardens, which are family-owned plots of around 20 coffee trees, a far cry from vast plantations. As educational programs expand and locals organize coffee collections, networks, sustainable practices, and incredible quality standards are taking root in the small nation making it a darling of the specialty coffee industry and a must-try for coughing adventurers. Now, I must say I've had this for, I'd say, three to three, maybe four or five months uh, around there. I, I can remember having at least four or five different varietals, and this one by far was my favorite, and you will continue to say that almost like every month. When you think you've had your favorite, you will have another one, and you're like blown away by it. Um... It's a wash process. It's grown in a high altitude from the Eastern Highlands, a euphoric display of complexity and action. This roast offers a mellow, balanced apple-like acidity, a chocolate sweetness, and a tannic nutty notes of walnut. And, and that is completely true. It's easy to drink. You can have it. I don't drink coffee black, but I can drink this, this one black uh, or with a little bit of cream. Mm. Really good. Okay, so here's the postcard for Papua New Guinea. You can see the, you know, Aborigines uh, kind of attire. So it says, it's a little blurry to see. Today, when you step onto the sprawling shores of Port Mor Moresby, gateway to Papua New Guinea, absorb the ancient impressions of a nation unfolding onto its own terms. Papua New Guinea has seen feats of human ingenuity and the depths of human connection for over 40,000 years. Rising up from the storied and singular past of you glimpse the claw-like sails of the inimitable Lakatoi, which are historic trading vessels of the Motu people bobbing on the modern horizon 
Journey inland, trace rocky coastlines, cross expanses of ocean to bring you further back in time as you scale the remote and far-reaching constellation of 600 islands. From the rugged green slopes of the Simbai Highlands to the deep trenches of the Solomon Sea, witness awe-inspiring sing-songs of the Rabaul Mask Festival, which is pictured on the front. Explore the storied Technicolor underworld of Kimbe Bay and spot the crown-like jewel tone plumage of majestic birds of paradise that dot the tropical forest canopy. Revelatory in its difference and its immense diversity, Papua New Guinea offers an incomparable sensation of a world unto itself. And these are the people that they were saying, the tribe that they mentioned. And so that is Papua New Guinea. Remember, this is a medium roast, suggested to have as a cold brew, but works really well with uh, regular drip coffee, no problem there, um, and, and enjoy. Now, if you are not used to having these specialty coffees, I must give you a, uh, a small warning. The caffeine level is a little bit more intense than, let's say, Folgers or uh, Chock Full of Nuts or your regular coffee that you would be buying. That I don't know why. Maybe because I'm freshly um, grinding the whole beans and I'm getting everything and it's brewed fresh right to order so everything is at its peak it hasn't been sitting and it hasn't had um, the ability to let time kind of deteriorate or half-life that caffeine or whatever is going on there because when I have a cup of this I, I do tend to feel it more so I, I sweat and you could just feel just a little bit of of, of um, that that kind of rush that you would get from caffeine so uh, I'm going to do another review next, and um, we'll see where we're going. Uh, so this has been Papua New Guinea, and join us next time um, around the world as we try to sip, you know, what the world has to offer one cup at a time. Thanks for joining me. Take care for now. Bye.